Hello artists, today we are going to be making a paper roll owl. The first thing you're going to do is use a regular marker, not a Sharpie because it will bleed through and put your name and your class at the bottom of your paper towel. When you're done, make sure you snap that cap and give it a nap. The next thing that we need to do is use masking tape. And when you use masking tape, if you pull, 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 nothing happens. But if you tear it like paper, then it will come off nicely for you. And what you're going to do today is take a Sharpie and put your name and class on the tape. Put the tape inside the roll and just run your finger through. If it's a little long, make sure you pull that part off. Next thing you're going to do is take a clothespin to um, be able to prevent you getting paint all over your fingers. The clothespin, if you put it right there, it's still kind of wobbly, but if you go all the way, and then don't hold it back here, hold it on the inside like that. We have a little peach paint um, on our plates today. We're going to take our peach paint and paint the roll. If you have a little paper left on the roll or some imperfections, just paint right over them. Now we have to be able to paint that part where the clothespin is. So if you just lay it on your desk and unpinch it, now you can pick it up where it's dry and finish that last little part. Rest your brush on your plate. This paper towel, you're gonna put it back on the back table. Carry the roll with the clothespin all the way to the back table. And then if you just lay it on there and unpinch, now you can leave your paper roll to dry. Your paintbrush is dirty now, so you're gonna take it to the back sink where there's a bowl of water. If you put the brush in the water and just give it one, two, three spins in the bowl, leave it resting in the bowl and I will take care of it from there. Now you have a brown piece of paper and what you're going to do with it is start to tear it into thumb sized pieces. Now look at my thumbnail and how small it is. This is not a thumb sized piece, it doesn't match. But this is, that fits my thumbnail. That's called a thumb size piece. And you wanna just start tearing up your paper. Okay, now you have a full pile of torn up paper all the size of your thumb. We're gonna go back to that dry paper towel roll. And before we can add any of the brown paper, we need to take our fingers Push in on one side and push in on the other side. And if you just keep pinching with your fingers, and now you have some nice pointy owl ears. For the next part of the project, we're gonna be using Elmer's glue. You're gonna untwist the cap. If you just take the bottle and shake it one, two, three times upside down, the glue will come out much easier for you. Now we usually use the rule dot, dot, not a lot, but for this project, we're just gonna put a very thin line of glue towards the bottom of the paper towel roll. You're gonna try to find pieces that have a straight edge so that you can line those directly up to the bottom of your roll. And every time you put a piece on, you're gonna have to hold it for about 10 seconds before you move on to the next piece. We're looking for only the flat pieces. Overlap the pieces a little bit so that you can't see the cardboard roll underneath there. Okay, we're gonna go about halfway up the roll. So not all the way, we need to leave room for a head and repeat the same process. So we're gonna put a small strip of glue. We're gonna look for those pieces that are straight. And when you add one, hold it for 10 seconds before you move on. Now that we have a straight edge on the bottom and a straight edge on the top, it's just a simple matter of finishing off the feathers. So you're gonna repeat the process, but overlap your brown paper just a little bit with that bead of glue. And now it doesn't have to be straight pieces. You can overlap and every time you add 10 seconds, hold it and we're gonna finish filling in the rest of the owl. When you're finished with your last piece, Look around, if there's any that are sticking up just a little bit too much, you can give it a tiny, tiny drop of glue 
and hold it again for 10 seconds. Some of the pieces you want to be up a little. That's what gives it the appearance of feathers. That's why we did the torn paper to make it look like feathers. So don't glue them all down. To clean up our mess, all of this can go into your table trash can. You can use a wet wash rag to wash off the glue. The rest of the details to the owl with an orange sheet of paper. You're gonna fold it in half and you're gonna draw a little triangle coming from the top edge. Now we can use the rule dot, dot, not a lot. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a finished paper roll owl. Good job today, artists.